Can't find the nucleus. Just look a little closer. Hey, uh, Boris, the IRB rejected our application again. It's okay, Dave. Excuse me. Everett. Hey, Boris. Well, the prodigal son returns. Uh, Everyone, this is Everett Bernard. His work was instrumental in helping us discover our freeze-drying technique to extract enzyme from mice. So work hard, because if Everett here can be a success, so can all of you. Well, thanks, I think. Um, hey, uh, have you seen Dr. Quick? Oh, he got tired of waiting for you, so he went up to the medical floor. Okay. Was he uh, angry? I wouldn't call it anger, necessarily. Okay. Um, okay. Thank you. Get back to work, people. You must really hate that bag. Looking good, Marie. Thanks. You look the same. Same is better than worse. You still working nights? Yep. Well, it was nice seeing you again. Really? What's changed? What? Last time I saw you, you said you wanted to focus on your studies. Yeah, well, you know, that's not really an issue anymore. Mm. Rick's choosing his resident this week, and... You back here for him? For me? Um... <laughs> there. Now you look better. That went according to plan. Right. Thanks. Welcome back, Dr. Varnar. Hi, Doris. Was Dr. Crick here? Uh, he hasn't been here. Check the unit. two days out. Look at that valve. Much better. Is she good to go to the main floor, though? Absolutely. A little bit of walking. No more than 15 minutes a day. Hey. Hey, you guys are. Everett, my boy. Dr. Crick. I recognize that voice. <laughs> oh, 
Sorry, I tried calling. But... Oh, yeah, no, cell tower's down. You can't even text. Can't even text? Surprised you haven't killed yourself. Right, okay. Hey, Dr. Quick. Uh, again, so sorry I'm late. I missed you at the lab. The lab? I haven't been there yet. I'm just having a look at my last surgery. Huh. Hey, the hand looks good. I had a mini stroke this summer. But don't worry. I'm still looking for a resident. Yeah. Why the suicide precautions? Overdose. She used her foster dad's heroin with a dirty needle. A lot of inflammation around the heart, which is... Endocarditis? There you go. Dr. On Frick, the ball. you got some orders to sign on the med floor, and then you're done. I will do that. How does it feel to be chief resident of Maine Hospital? There's never a dull moment. Oh, I'm sure of that. <laughs> <laughs> See you later. Would you mind taking care of this for me? Thank you. Making friends with Crick, huh? Smart career move. Yeah, now you guys are chummies. I'll see you later. Dr. Crick! Actually, it was my foster mom's heroin. Dr. Kravitz, you have a visitor in the main hall. Dr. Kravitz, a visitor in the main hall. Aging is a disease. Don't let anyone tell you different. Yeah, it's a disease with no cure, though. Guess what? Hello. I'm Brittany. Here to watch over Miss Sarah Hanna. Watch over? What's that? A uh, sitter. Suicide prevention. They're bringing her over from the unit. What's in the bag? Oh, thanks to cheer Sarah up. See? See? Don't try to cheer her up. All you do is watch her. Well... I can most certainly do that. That remains to be seen. Alice, can you set Brittany out, please? I most certainly can do that. Hold on, Barbie, I'll be right back. Should I tell her that my name's Brittany? Why not? Assert yourself, Brittany. Cold blue, Morelli again! No, 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 hey, hey. Relax, relax. Happens every day. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No pulse. He's a. Start um, bagging him. Open up the IV. Get those paddles ready. Charge. 360. Um, hey, Emma. Good job. Uh, charge it. Everyone, clear. Clear. <laughs> Still V-Fib, hit him again. No, should we use some empty first? No, hit him again! Excuse me. Charge? Charge. Okay. We got a sinus from the back. Let's stabilize him. You're making progress. Only two shocks this time. Sorry, Dr. Krakow. That's your first day back. Come on. Besides, Dr. Jenner's a bit of a prick. God, it's not her fault. Don't be so hard on yourself. Come on. You know how far you've come? Yeah, I can freeze mice. I don't know. Maybe I need a totem animal like the jellyfish. I, why the jellyfish, Doc? What do you want to know? Why, well, I want to know what appeals to you about it. A jellyfish is the only creature on Earth that lives forever. What, immortality? Oh, yes. They start the size of a polyp, they grow up for full size and back down to the size of a polyp, and they keep recycling that way. Hmm. And they are immortal, unless a sea turtle eats them or they wash ashore. Well, I don't know about sea turtles, but I certainly know about being washed up. Everett, there are many smart and talented people that never get a whiff of greatness. Because greatness requires two things a fire in the belly, and the willingness to see it through. You have the fire in the belly. Let's see if you have the will.
you want the same password? Look away, please. You are a woman of many talents. When do I get paid for my talents? You got quite a mouth on you, kid. I mean it. You know what else my mouth's good at? What's that? Talking. <laughs> you know, I'm very glad that I made you the chief resident. You've done well. I would hate to see how hard your job would be with something pressed against you. What would that be, Raymond? Charges, tampering, HIPAA violations. Enough to land your pretty little ass in jail. So I would try to keep that town of the mouth shut. Just some computer work. Nothing more. Oh. You trying to draw attention to yourself? Drawing attention? Oh. You mean like with Abe Wilkes? Abe Wilkes? Yes, your most recent harvest victim. His widow's lawyer wants to know why an otherwise healthy 48-year-old dies after a routine procedure and then has an unauthorized autopsy. Well, I authorized it. That's funny. It is. Maybe you can tell their attorneys that yourself when they get here tomorrow. What? They're coming here? We had an agreement, Alex. Only those patients who were dying at that moment. Well, the official cause of death is a fatal arrhythmia. The EKG backs that up. We're in the clear. So if that's all, you forgot that I golf with Darren? Oh, shit. I've been nursing this along with baby steps. You wanted to kill Abe Wilkes, extract enough enzyme for Darren to mass produce for you, and then you're going to screw me out of the largest pharma deal in history. What would you like? 50 50. You're done here. What, 60 40. I'm from 70 30. I protected you. I covered your ass for seven years. I even let you build it. Please, a please don't do this. I'm the one that made this happen. I made you happen. Okay, everyone, we're gonna close the lab early today. Really? Let's go, go home and have some fun. But this is how we have fun. Hey, Judy, I need that back. I'll be done in a moment. What are you doing? I'll be done in a moment. I just need to input some orders. I'll be done in a moment, Nurse Blackwell. what I could from your office, and I got the new remote access codes. I also found this. Have a look at this right now, please. When was this uploaded? Today. He has files on all of our subjects, even surveillance video. That slimy son of a bitch. He wants my enzyme. What do you mean? <sighs> Abe Wilkes' widow. He's coming in with a lawyer tomorrow to meet with Ray. He's gonna show him this. He's gonna act like he's just discovered it. I'll throw you under the bus. How's Boris? What are we gonna do? We're gonna stop McGrew. He put this up on the network, okay? Somebody else is gonna find this. Oh, shit. Wait a minute, Crick. All this construction, we've been offline today. Yeah. These files won't get uploaded until we go back online tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. So we have tonight. 
Our new passwords give us limited access, okay? We get alarms, doors, power. But we're not gonna get into the network to change medical files. We have to destroy the network. There's something else. What? We can't get any enzyme from Wilkes. Apparently, he had two prior MIs. You didn't know that Wilkes had a couple of heart attacks? It wasn't in his file, and it wasn't in his physical. We are so close. We just need one more subject to extract enzyme from. No grow. Well, that'd kill two birds with one stone. Mm -hmm. You know what happens when you're stung by a jellyfish? There's pain, and then paralysis. Hey, Brittany. I'm sorry. I can't do this. What? What's What's wrong? She is. She's all wrong. I'm Dr. Barner. I remember you. Yeah. Yeah. So, what did you do to Brittany? She asked me if I would accept Jesus into my heart. Really? What'd you tell her? An honest and deeply religious answer. Oh, I see. How long will I be strapped here? Straps are part of our suicide precautions, much like Brittany. Brittany is a cause of suicide, not a precaution. So I have to ask, do you still want, do you think, do you, do you want to be a part of the world, our world? Use grown-up words. Okay. How do you feel? Please rephrase the question so a concrete answer is possible. Okay, do you still want to kill yourself? Not until you want to. I'm putting that down as progress. Self-Union Cardiac ER. Thank you. Talk. What? Th this patient needs isolation? Guiding light, Flem. They take out the trash every Tuesday. Who's the resident on tonight? Dr. Jenner. Is she the one sleeping with a girl? <laughs> I don't know. You want me to ask her? Uh, no. Yeah. Get her to handle this junkie. <laughs> How'd you get that? Crack pipe blow up in your face? <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Gotta have to make an appointment to see the cardiologist. Okay, do you have insurance? Yes, Michigan Blue Cross Blue Shield. Okay, that should be a $200 copay. Okay. Okay, we will get back with you in a couple days and give you an appointment. Sounds good, thank you. Okay, have a great day.
My heart gently weeps. You know, I was a dancer once. Square dancer? Ballet. In Michigan and New York for four years. What happened? Fell in love with my director. That's not good. He likes to push people as hard as he can. And I, being naive, did anything he wanted. He pushed and he pushed. Until you broke. No. Yeah, I guess. Are you aware of what Crick did? He replaced the infected aortic valve. That's the same valve that stopped you from dancing. The one with the birth defect. Right. So when Crick replaced the valve, he treated both your problems. Really? So it's all good now? As long as it heals properly. Should it? It should. Wait, so you're saying that if this heals, I can dance again? Square dancing, at the very least. Hi, Marie. What are you doing? I, I just need some gauze. Anything taken must be logged. Gotcha. You know, we have some exciting new developments happening in the lab. I could show you sometime if you're free. I don't think so. Self-Union Cardiac ER. No, sir. Don't accept that insurance. No, sir. I can't prescribe morphine. No, sir. I will not go to hell. Hey. Hmm. You already got your residency. You can stop studying now. Not after this morning, I can't. Yes, you can. See one, do one, teach one. That's how you learn. See one, do one, teach one? Yeah. Like you and Marie. See one, do one. You broke up months ago, okay? Dump one. Uh, okay. Sorry. Sorry. I did not dump her, okay? I told her that I wanted to focus more on medicine. You, okay, why not just cheat on her and post the video on Facebook? That would have been more humane. Hey, suddenly Dr. Freeze over there is talking about being humane? You dumped her to study more. I mean, at least a guy who's cheating is sexually active. Hey, I'm way sexually active, okay? And you're the only woman I know who's defending cheating. I'm not. I'm just saying that that's like the worst possible reason to dump somebody. But it's true. You know it's true? You totally dumped her because you wanted to get closer to Crick, and that is so beyond deranged. And now you're defending her, which is another first. No, this so. isn't about him or her. It's about you and your ambitions. If you want cardiology so badly, why not just apply to a program like a main hospital? Look, Crick's just a surgeon, and this hospital is so small. I had an academic hearing two years ago. They wanted to expel me, kick my ass out. You didn't tell me that? Yeah, well, I didn't tell anyone. And during the hearing, I was too scared to speak, too scared to defend myself. But Crick defended me. He was there. He sees something in me, in my work, that no one else does, so... You know, you don't owe Crick anything. Wait, what is that? Oh. Me and Marie from this morning? <laughs> yeah, it's hilarious. Yeah, ha, ha, ha. What, Legro allows you to do that? Well, well, no, he's not really in a position to allow me anything. Right, what, because uh, your favorite position is on top? <sighs> Excuse me? Really? 
No, come on, say it. No, okay. Say it. Sorry. I know you want to. No, I didn't mean Call to. Call me a whore. No, jeez, Jenny, come on. Look, I don't see him anymore, okay? Okay. Can I help you? James. James Ross. My, how you've grown. I hate to do this to you, son. Looking good. Really? Knock, knock. Hey. Just checking in. Thanks, we're all set. Crick cancel the restraints? She's not suicidal. Let's talk to Crick. Can I touch you outside for a sec? Sarah, I'll be right back, okay? She doesn't need restraints. Doesn't matter. It's Crick's patient. She? What? She's Crick's patient. Um, listen, I am not the dick here. You listen. If she really wanted to kill herself, she would have done it. She's fine. Fine does not capture her. Have you ever lost anything important to you? Yes. Really? Yes. What? I, I lost you. Screw your bullshit romance lines. You dumped me, remember? Let's just calm down. I don't want to. I don't want to fight. Yeah, that's right, Evan. You never want to fight for anything. I'd like to accept this award. Uh, no good. I'd like to accept this Nobel Prize for man. I'd like to accept this Nobel Prize for mankind. small step for man. I accept this humbly. I accept it all in all humanity. I hope there's a pony in the bottom of all that bullshit. I would like to accept this Nobel Prize for me and all my friends, my mommy, my daddy. I would like to, I would like to accept this award. I don't want your fucking award. Those cheap bastards forgot to pay the bills. At least this computer still works. Thought you ladies might like a warm beverage. Um, thanks. You didn't have to. It used to be your favorite. So were you once. 
I have to go check on the patient. Uh, Sarah would like more ice chips. Morale is due for his meds, and I am going to go check on the rest of the unit. So, Everett. I'm sorry about earlier. No, oh, uh, it's, it's OK. It actually taught me a very important lesson. What? That you still care. Like a lot. He's ready, Alex. Alex. <clears throat> Alex, are you all right? Yeah. I'm all right now that my good buddy Ray is here. Alex, where the hell am I? You're in my private underground lab that you never wanted to know anything about. Is this what you built with my money? Years of grants. Now it's time for you to pay. You think torturing me is going to help you? Well, it sure isn't going to help you. <laughs> oh. Have you lost your mind? Get me off of this table right now. Ray, don't worry. I'm going to fill out your organ donor card. Hmm? Alex, what are you doing? Goddamn lunatic. Let me out of here. Get me out of this table. Let me out. Let me out of here, you twisted, sick bastard. Goddamn lunatic. Get me out of this table. Get me out of this goddamn table. Shut him up, will you? Alex! Let me out. gonna miss his tea time. Mommy's fine, James. It's just a little surgery. I'll never leave you, sweetie. You have a special voice inside of you. I love you so very much. It's all right, James. It's all right. It's all right.
Mr. Morelli keeps hitting his button. I'm getting the suppositories. He doesn't get suppositories. He does now. Still alive, Mr. Morelli? Got your poopers and your sleepers here. If I shock you again, it'll be between your legs. Wake up! He needs the code. He doesn't have the code. I tried to get out, but he, he locked us all in. Okay, okay. Here. No bars. Shit. Where's your phone? Uh, right. Oh, God. Okay, shit, I've lost it. Okay. He had a scar on his face <laughs> and a surgical mask. Okay. Hey, Jenny. Jenny, look at me. Look at me, okay? We're gonna be okay. We have to get out of here. We have to find a way out of here, okay? Okay, let's go. Wait, where are you going? If you can't come in here, I'm not leaving. We can't stay here all night. Yes, we can. No, Ginny, we cannot. Yes, we can, Wait, Everett. You said that uh, he's going to the ER, then the unit, then, that means shit. Everett, where are you going? I need your passcode.
think your mommy's proud of you? Did your mommy even love you? Mine left me all alone. My mommy broke my heart, too. See? So go ahead. Hit me. Hurt me. Tear me apart. But I won't scream for you. And it won't bring your mommy back. So how's it look? He had a defibrillator. Oh, Jesus. Well, we can't use that. Look, girl, he's a cold-hearted son of a bitch. He's dead. You know what? Yeah. Uh, we gotta deal with that. That won't do. Come help Sarah. Ginny. What? You're bleeding. Okay. It's fine. Leave it. Okay, what do we do now? Hide here? Yeah. I'm not going anywhere. He never flinched. What? When I choked him, I crushed his throat. It's like he didn't feel anything. Oh, God, you're back. Are you bleeding? I know. How are you feeling? Like my chest is splitting open every time I try to breathe. What you did up there was amazing. I... How... How did you even think to ask about his mom? Most serial killers have dominant or overprotective mothers who overcompensate for... Distant or absent fathers. Oh, is that right? Childhood trauma is usually involved. The scar on his face. Hold on a minute. You stood in front of him and made him attack you? She distracted him. Ginny, what are you doing? Just making a point that suicidal behavior, no matter how genius it is, it still leads to suicide. Your voice leads to suicide. separated her incision, causing internal bleeding around her lungs and probably around her heart. A hemothorax. Yeah. She'll continue to bleed and her lungs will collapse. She'll go into shock and die here on our bed. Jim, stop. What are you doing? I just nuts. Are there any useful supplies here? Marie! Wait! Get out of my way! What are you doing? I'm not just gonna sit here! Are you crazy? He could be right outside the door! At least he's not hiding in a corner like you! Fuck you! Calm down! Please! I'm calm. I'm not just gonna sit here and watch her die. I'm the physician here, and I say we stay put. Oh, pull rank, resident! We don't have a choice! There's always a choice! If we leave, we'll die! If we stay, she'll die! Fine! What kind of a doctor are you? The bitch kind. I'm just being practical. Is that what you tell Legro? Go rot in hell, Amazon! Stop! 
We're done arguing. We all leave, so we all live. Now we need medical supplies for Sarah and a way out of here. You've worked here for years, so you find an escape route, I'll get supplies. You, stay alive. I get the hard part. Ginny, see if you can get the computer on an outlet somewhere and get a message out of here. Everett, I don't think that I should. You will manage the patient or you will wait in the hallway. Your choice. Are you serious? You need stitches. There's no time. You're bleeding. There's time in the room. tossing it in a blender and calling it research. <laughs> it seems that the whole thing is to prevent it. Perhaps. My data is as valid as my colleague. The shoot me. Somebody shoot me. But I've never had a problem with the IRB, so I really couldn't say. We got a big problem. What? We don't have any viable subjects. What? James isn't paralyzing them. He's killing them. What? Listen, what the hell are we gonna do? We need her. Light up for one cut. Just do it. Better? Uh, yeah. Oh, wait. Uh, okay. Um, get ready for the lidocaine train. I'm not five, just do it. Attitude like that, you are not gonna get a lollipop. I'm fine. Mm -hmm. I just hate needles. <laughs> hey, Doc. Is my incision supposed to do this? so mad when you broke up with me because I was gonna dump you do you know how angry that made me <clears throat> I do actually really remember my sister Jennifer married the football coach <laughs> coach Bishop from Alpine State not Tom coach Bishop coach Bishop <sighs> what a tool 
Remember when you first met him? He was like, call me Coach Bishop. You're like, whatever, Tommy. <laughs> I almost objected during their wedding. I would have, too, if you hadn't stopped me. Stand up. Objection. Sustain. Wedding dismissed. <clears throat> Sorry. Well, Jen finally got her divorce papers together, but Coach served her first. He divorced her. After all the arrests, the rehab, the... the driving naked through the In-N-Out drive-thru? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> wow. Yeah, wow. Uh, he, uh, served her at work. She's a school teacher. Second grade. If you ever did that to me, I would kill you. I believe you. Don't patronize me. I'm serious. I would never doubt your sincerity. Ever. I'm so sorry I hurt you. Don't do it again. How's the pap smear going, huh? He's so holistic. Come on, I got something to show you. James Ross. That's his name. Can you pull up any surveillance video? No. There's only a few cameras. It's weird. It's like... Like the power was cut from inside the building. There has to be someone helping from the outside. Why do you say that? The fire alarm went off right when I hit James under control. That could be a coincidence. Then where are the fire trucks? Why isn't the alarm still going off? Okay. Good point. I also uploaded a bunch of files today for Legro, and they all had Crick's name on them. I'm gonna try to look those. Why? What's the point of that? Because Legro was killed on a day when he uploaded files for Crick. Cop shows call it a motive. <coughs> Let's go. Everett, wait. Take this in case you get a signal. And don't break it. They only give me one. Wait. Be careful. We will. Thanks. I'll meet you back here. Yeah. Wait. There we go. Sorry. Sarah? Sarah?
I'm so glad it's you. I... That, 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 that thing attacked me up in the lab and I came down here and hid. How have you survived? I haven't survived yet. <laughs> Sarah! Sarah! <laughs> Shit! Sarah! Where does that lead to? Nowhere. That's a dead end. You don't want to go that way. Uh, listen, you and I should stick together, you know? It's like... The, the, there's a safety in numbers. For me or for you? <laughs> Always with that dry wit. Sorry. I think Everett and our dying patient are eager to leave. Everett? Everett, he's... he's here? Yeah, why? Uh, nothing. I'm just I'm glad he's safe. Okay. Wait! Hey, Marie! Let me ask you something. What do you see in him? Excuse me? You're smart, you're beautiful, you're hardworking, and... He dumped you. You know, I'd never do that. This conversation's over. Don't walk away from me! <laughs> uh! No! No! You actually can produce tears. I owe Marie five bucks. You little shit! You didn't even check my pulse. I thought that you were dead! I was expecting mouth to mouth, at least. Gross. Faking your death is a shitty thing to do, I'll let you know. Like telling everyone to let a young girl die in front of you? No. That wasn't right. I suck. At least you're honest. I got back into LeGros account. Look. You hacked into LeGros account? No comment. Oh my god. James Ross medical records. He had surgery to get rid of a mole, then it got infected. Three surgeries. What is trigeminal neuralgia? It's an inflamed cranial nerve in your face. It's so painful, they call it the suicide disease. No wonder you two hit it off. That must be why he wears that mask. Click there. Catherine Ross. Must be his mother. Oh my god. Let's just stop change it so we can watch the security camps for Everett and Marie. Marie, stop me! Quick! What the hell happened? Just pull the needle out. How'd you get the needle in your head? Just pull the goddamn needle out! Jenny? I know about your mother, Catherine Ross. He has to disarm the bomb. 
What bomb? Disarm the bomb. Disarm the bomb. Why are you doing this? Is this all because of your mom? Get us out of here! He can't. What? We're locked in by someone else. Come here, look at this. Look about? at this. What? No. No, it can't be. Hold on, there's more. You didn't know, did you? Let me see you, James. Sorry. It's okay. It's all right, James. It's all right. It's okay. It's all right. It's all right. Sarah! Sarah? Is that where your dad is, James? Is that where he is? Dr. Crick! Dr. Crick, are, are, are you up there? What is he doing there? Huh? What's Everett doing here? I don't know. We gotta get him out of there, man. Whoa. Come on, we gotta get finish that here. Hey, we can't. Let's go. You, listen, I'm not gonna. No, I'm listening to me. I'm not fucking. Hey, around. hey, hey! Listen to me. We're not gonna risk everything to save Everett. Look, look. Alex. Look, Alex. Listen What's the matter me? with you? Nothing's wrong with me, Alex. I want him out of there. Alex, I want him out I'm not going to risk everything to save him. I'm serious. Alex, we can't risk everything to save him. We don't need him. Stop talking about everything, everything. I want him out of there. So listen Please to me. Stop it. We don't need him. Would you help me get ever no, out of No, fuck him. Do you listen to me? You go get him. <laughs> Look, look. That's one hell of a side effect. Look. I'm not doing it. Do the right thing. Do it. Oh, shit. This has to be done, but I... Sarah! Come on. Come on. Sarah, come on. Sarah! Oh. Oh. Jenny! Jenny! Clear out of the door! Oh, got you. Jenny. Jenny, come on. I'm sorry. How is she? We have to go. We have to go. F 
different! Stairs. Let's go. in the corner. You go first. I'll hold it. You go first. Come on. Come on, Sarah. Come on. Come on. Come on. You got it. Sarah? Detective Oslo, we met earlier outside the hospital. I'd like to ask you a couple more questions, if that's okay. See, the thing is, uh, we did a complete search of South Union Cardiac Hospital. We didn't find any survivors yet. Did you actually see Everett Bernard and Marie Blackwell escape? Hmm. What about Dr. Jenner? Did you see anything else? Nothing I want to remember. Hmm. Okay, thanks. Feel better. I already do. <laughs> <laughs> Don't want to break it, they only give me one. Wait. Jenny's cell phone. Yes? Everett has it. He does? Do you have that number? Check the badge, detective. Am I done doing your work? Do no harm, Doc. It's nothing sacred. Sacrifice is the production of sacred things. Nothing is more sacred than immortality. No, this, this is not sacred. This is sacrilege. Sacrilege is harvesting embryos from a woman's womb and using it in stem cell research. That's sacrilege. How are you different? People have lived full lives when I take them. 
Who gives you permission to take them? Who says you get to play God, Crick? Maybe you haven't noticed, but God's been a no-show. And in his absence, somebody's got to step up. Ready, Alex. James. He's out of it for a while, but after fresh pan patches. Everett. No, not Marie, no. Everett, I want you to join me. I don't have a choice. Well, you have a choice right now. Let her go, Boris. No. Her sacrifice will change the world. No, there has to be. What about um, an animal subject or, or, or growing new tissue or, or... What about a new subject? Every choice has a price. Huh? Fine. You're right. What? Am I? This is the greatest medical discovery of our lifetime. And it's ours. Alex. Think of all the people we could help. He stole it! Man, the money, I mean... This is worth millions. Millions, Sarah. Millions. That's bullshit! Ah! Or Sure, he appreciate this. I should have known better. This whole um generation whining and complaining. Oh, my med school debt. 80 hour work weeks. Oh my god. I don't have enough friends on Facebook. Oh yeah. You don't even protest anymore. They occupy. Why should I give people like that the secret to eternal life? Why? It didn't have to go this way. You were like a son to me. I guess I'm not comfortable with your parroting style, Crick. I don't have a son. He was lost to me. Ever since. Since you killed his mother. Catherine Ross. You snuck into her room and you put heparin into her IV. Shh, shh. Shh, shh. My wife died of tragic complications. You are the tragic complication. <laughs> you let your wife bleed to death and you let your son wake up in a pool of her own blood. I did what was necessary and I had the will to see it through. <sighs> so do I.
Everett. This was po pointless. Excuse me? He, uh, I'm gonna continue my work. Why you can't stop me? Uh, <laughs> the only reason I made you a resident. I see would do whatever I wanted you to do. It won't end. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Dr. Barnard. I'm gonna go in back. Um, sorry, I, uh, I want to call, but I don't have a cell phone. It's fine. We're just finishing it. You look great. Thanks. <laughs> you look, uh, same. Great. Really? Yeah, the both of you, uh, it's impressive. Thanks. Just started back up again. Feels good, you know. Really good. It shows. How was your hearing? Other than never being able to practice medicine again, it went really well. I'm sorry. I'm not. At least I'm a free man. When are you going to go back to work? I just need time to process it all, you know? It's not your fault you know that, right? I was the one who did it. He deserved it. Doesn't matter. You've got nothing to worry about now. Hey. I never thanked you for saving my life. Hey, it was James who saved you. No. It Can I, can I call you? No. No? Why not? You need a new cell phone first. <laughs> 